what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Change.org has raised a bag, and I mean a big one, in donations through its George Floyd petition. I'm talking about they've raised millions, 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 people giving up all kinds of money to help the family out. Only one problem, none of the money, and I mean zero is going to the family or the organizers of the petition. Many people are just now finding this out. People are saying they feel duped. People are saying that they didn't even know that none of the money was going to the family or the organizers of the petition until after they made their donation. Oh man, change.org, boy, they slick with it. They ask, can you chip in $3? to get this petition on the agenda. So of course, people are going there, they're emotional, they're angry, they're feeling some sense of community when they come to change.org and they wanna help out. They wanna support the family. They wanna do their part to bring attention to injustice so that maybe justice in this case, can be achieved. So once you click on the button to donate your $3, they try to upsell you and give you a choice in selecting $3, $25, $50, or $100. One man, I believe, from Australia donated $1,000. Now, that's just one guy. I'm not sure what all of the donations are, but this is one that was reported. They have a record-breaking 14 million people who have signed the petition, more than anything in their history. They have billboards, over 100 billboards across the country of George Floyd. They have George Floyd featured on their website. And they're saying, help us get justice for George's family. Boy, they cold with it. Man, straight up stealing. Now, some people would say, well, you know, you should read the fine print. See, in the fine print, there is a disclaimer that says the money is going towards highlighting the case on their website and spreading awareness and various operation costs. Very, very fine print. It's not big like the money and it's not big like the message. Got to get yourself a microscope. Oh man, they were slick with it. They wait till you sign the petition, then hit you up for the money. Multiple people who gave money said that change.org's disclaimer message was not clear enough and were incredulous to learn that none of the money, I mean none of the money, went to protest organizers. Now, back in 2019, change.org used to allow the money to go to the petition organizers and whatever cause, but they changed that. At one point, they were only taking 5%. And man, I guess they just flipped the switch one day like the mob and said, we want it all. I mean, all. 
they just totally demonetized it for petition organizers and took all the money. And a lot of people are still thinking that that same model exists, but it doesn't. Change.org. Y'all be careful out there. And, and it's not just them. Although they are one of the most ruthless. It's a whole lot of those out there who are well-known. Bunch of well-known names. Most of that money never reaches the people that the people intend on it reaching. It goes straight into the pockets of the executives and the people they hire. Before you donate money, know who you're giving the money to. Have an idea of where that money is going. Do your homework. Because I know those people feel duped. If I had went there, I would have just assumed that that's where the money was going on. So I would never think that this organization, this, this company, which is a for-profit, you know, change.org is for-profit. That alone threw me off. I didn't even know that they were for-profit. They have an appearance like they're some type of uh, not-for-profit. But they are clearly for-profit. And they want it all. I don't have a problem with people who put in work getting paid. But to try to do it all slick, like you really care about George Floyd and his family, and like somehow that money is going to reach the organizers, that's what I have a problem with. If you work at change.org, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?